Hi everyone, this is Chris of One Tech Stop, and today we're looking at the Monument browser for Windows 10 and Windows 10 Mobile. Okay, at Monument Browser is an alternative web browser. There are a couple to choose from, name the boot, the one that comes pre-installed is is Microsoft's Edge browser, but you also get Opera and a couple of others. This is Monument, uh, developed by Marcella de Souza. Take a look at some of the features. You've got multi-tab, background downloads, picture-in-picture, multi-window, and an ad blocker, which is experimental. We'll take a look at it now. Firstly, here is your tile. I'm reluctant to call it a live tile, because I'm not sure if it actually shares information about any web pages you're browsing. But one thing I will say about it is Monument seems to get updated daily. Every time I open the app, it seems to show me some new features and whatnot. This is your home page with recommended websites. You can add favorites here and any downloads. Uh, as we open some tabs, you'll be able to see some of the features. For Pressing this small circular icon in the bottom left corner brings you to another tab. Meanwhile, the current open one is still active up here. You go to html5test.com. One thing you see is that it is built on top of the Edge browser. As it says, you're using Edge 14 on a Lumia 830. So it has the same functionality and abilities as the Edge browser, but it does things slightly different, namely tabs. These three buttons at the bottom is your menu. And it's a quick and easy place to open a new window, open a new private window, go to your home page, which is this. This is your home page. View your history, go full screen, and access your settings. As you can see, you can change the user agent between mobile and desktop. You can change the theme to light or dark. Press up for a light. You can set your search engine between Google and Bing. And when you open a new window, you can set it where to go. Currently set to bing.com. Uh, tell it where you would like to store downloads. Here is the experimental ad blocker. And as it says, it will block some ads. Uh, just a little read of the description. Experimental feature may prevent most of the unrequested ad re redirection. Disable this feature if some websites do not show correctly. You can enable and disable JavaScript. And you can also set it to compress data. You can also clear, data, clear navigation data, clear history, and clear your search questions. Right, once we've got a few tabs open, you can view any open windows using this icon here. So we've just got two at the moment. And open another one. And again to view more than one at a time if you press this circle down here. This one starts here. You're also offered to open a new one. Which we shall do. Going back to this view, uh, there are two buttons at the bottom, two arrow buttons, left and right, and that will navigate between your open tabs. We will go to our own website, onetechstop.net. The address bar will offer to complete the, the URL for you, if you've typed it in previously. Okay, if we just go to a post, and you will see one feature uh, very similar to Microsoft Edge and what I think is a very popular feature. Well, we just had a crash. I go back, and all our windows are shut. Never mind. That does uh, that doesn't happen a lot. A pretty rare occurrence. I'm going to show you navigating 
back and forth between web pages. You can scroll between your previously open web pages. See that blue arrow you get? Maybe that takes a bit of loading time. And if you want to get, if you just scroll from the middle like you can do on edge, it doesn't actually work. You have to literally go right from the side of the screen. And there you can just see the blue arrow indicates which way you're going to be going. Okay, we will open up another window. And there that gives you the option to scroll between your open windows. If we go to YouTube. There is one more pretty cool feature by pressing the round icon. You then have the option using this, tapping this small box here, allows you then to put the tab into a small movable box. You can pinch to make that box a tiny bit bigger. And then if you want to place the box in one place and there's a button just above it. It looks like an eye, and then when you press it, it turns into a round circle with a black dot in the middle. And in that mode, it means you can navigate the web page. And when you want to move it around, press it, and it releases it from being in a held position. Also, next to this bar, you've got an X if you want to close it, or you've got that one if you want to make it full screen. And again, double tap in also will make it go full screen. So we'll go back to YouTube. We'll search for our website. And if we start playing a video. And then press the tab button. You can put the video in full screen. In order to keep the video playing whilst perhaps looking at another website. Making this one full screen. Will not stop the video playing as you can see. At least I don't think it has. It is actually having a bit of trouble playing. I believe I've covered most of the features. You can download in the background. As you can see, YouTube's kind of, the YouTube video is struggling on this occasion. But in previous attempts, it's worked considerably better, I will say that. Okay, we'll give YouTube another go. And as you see, it plays over the top of other web pages. In person, I think that works. Although the video is starting to stutter a bit now. Well, as I said earlier, there is lots of development going on with at Monument Browser. I certainly think it's worth giving it a go, particularly if you like to use two different websites at the same time. Very useful for that. You can also share these links, as you might expect, in the usual way. Okay, any comments or questions are always welcome. Uh, this has been Chris for One Tech Stop, taking a look at the Monument Browser. Check our description for links. Thanks for watching.